Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about hemophilia. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So hemophilia is a X-linked recessive disorder. That means the gene that is responsible for this disease is placed in X chromosome. In this disease, a single protein that is a part of the cascade of proteins involved in the clotting of blood is affected. So, what is the function of this particular gene? Now, we know that our blood contains lots of blood clotting factors which work together to stop bleeding while required. So, these blood clotting factors are nothing but some proteins. They work in a cascade. That means they work in a series. In hemophilia, one of such factors is affected. So, due to this, in an affected individual, a simple cut will result in non-stop bleeding. That is dangerous, right? So now we will see some causes of hemophilia. So hemophilia is caused by a mutation in one of the genes that is responsible for making the clotting factor proteins needed to form a blood clot. This gene is located on X chromosome. Okay, so that I have already explained. Now the heterozygous female that is the carrier for hemophilia may transmit the disease to sons. We have to understand this thing. Okay, so I will make it here. Suppose, suppose a woman has genotype X, capital H, X, small h. So here this capital H, it represents normal allele and small h represents mutant allele ok so this woman is heterozygous and we call this a carrier now she will not have hemophilia since it is a recessive disorder but she can transmit this mutated allele that means this allele to her offspring and her son has 50% probability to get that mutation like X, H and Y. If this is her son, he will have hemophilia. But if he is lucky enough, uh, he will get X capital H and Y. So, in that case, he is safe. Otherwise, he will receive this XH and he will be hemophilic since only one X chromosome is present in male. Okay. So, the possibility of a female becoming a hemophilic is extremely rare because mother of such a female has to be at least carrier and a father should be hemophilic and they are unviable in the later stage of life. Again we have to understand this part. So how will a female become hemophilic? She requires two mutant genes. That means her genotype must be X small h x small h. In order to get this, she needs to receive two mutant alleles from both the parents. That means her father must be x small h y and the mother, so he is the father and the mother must be x capital H x small h right okay 
but it is hardly possible because hemophilic males rarely survive in the later stage of life so it is undoubtedly impossible for this person to become a father okay so the family pedigree of queen victoria shows a number of hemophilic descendants as she was the carrier of the disease next we will see different types of hemophilia so there are two types of hemophilia hemophilia a and hemophilia b hemophilia a it is caused by the mutation in the factor 8 gene on the x chromosome hemophilia b it is caused by a mutation in the factor 9 gene on the x chromosome so i have already told you that many blood clotting factors are present in our body and factor 8 and factor 9 are two of them let's see some symptoms of hemophilia more bleeding occurs for a normal cut bleeding is non stoppable bleeding into the joints this causes swelling and pain in the joints so it affects ankles knees elbows etc bleeding in tooth gums unusual bleeding after vaccination bleeding into the skin or muscle that causes a blood build up in the area this is the case that is called hematoma blood in urine or stool non stop nose bleeds bleeding in the head of an infant after a difficult delivery let's see some treatment of hemophilia so the best way to treat hemophilia is to replace the missing blood clotting factor so that the blood can clot properly suppose he or she is lacking the blood clotting factor 8 so we can insert factor 8 artificially in his or her body so this is done by infusing that is administering through a vein so it is commercially prepared factor concentrates health education is also very important it is provided to the patients which helps them to stay healthy and happy so this is all about today's lecture i hope you liked the lecture if you want to get the pdf notes of this topic please find the description box or first pinned comment thank you